It's a great delight and honor when we attain our desires and goals. Such is the experience by our Ayari blossom, a blooming bud. Right, let's unravel the success story of our dear student, Vishnu Kolluri. So, Vishnu Kolluri, welcome to the session. First of all, I would like to congratulate you on behalf of CDC, IRE, at your success. So, would you like to introduce yourself? Hello everyone, I am Kolluri Vishnu from Sangharati, Telangana. And, and I am doing my graduation in Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Dundigal. Electronics and Communication Department and I have a knowledge of C, Python and Java programming languages and SQL language and did some projects on it and finally in a nutshell I want to lead a peaceful life with ample of opportunities for my talent. Thank you. Everyone. Right, uh, that's a great introduction. Now, uh, now how do you feel uh, Vijay on your successful endeavor? I feel good and proud uh, and also my parents are also happy. So, so Vishnu, uh, we always think that hard work pays off, right? So, uh, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, can you talk about your hard work before we would unpack your success story to our audience, Vishnu? Yeah, what I think is that the planning and pra preparation practice and execution is uh, very important in the for preparing any interviews mm -hmm. so we should think smart uh, otherwise uh, we can't achieve the interviews uh, we can't achieve the placements mm -hmm. so what i think is that planning in a better way helps in cracking any interview mm -hmm. That's true indeed. So talk about your role and what is that success that we are, you are celebrating today and in fact we are also celebrating and talk about the role and assumed uh, what you are assuming right now and also uh, why don't you tell your package to our audience. Yes, I am selected for the EPM company mm -hmm. and we don't know the exact role. But after internship, we get to know about the role. Mm -hmm. uh, there are two roles, uh, mm -hmm. such as uh, tester and a Java developer. Mm -hmm. So internship consists of uh, six months, mm -hmm. so from Jan to June. Mm -hmm. So three months of training and three months of projects. Mm -hmm. And next thing is that. So, uh, can you discuss the process of that recruitment? in detail, however you feel, whatever you feel is important. Uh, the process includes two written assessment mm -hmm. and one T, uh, one group discussion round mm -hmm. and one TR round mm -hmm. and one HR round. Mm -hmm. In first, first written test, we have aptitude, mm -hmm. English mm -hmm. and coding mm -hmm. and come some MCQs on computer fundamentals. Okay. And uh, that is the eligibility test. So, if we get more than 40%, mm. we mm. can select for the, uh, we can write uh, the further test. Mm. So the second assessment consists of uh, MCQs on Java, mm. OOPS concepts. Mm. And the second section section consists of MCQs on SQL and DBMS. Mm. And mm, uh, two coding questions, mm. which is uh, generally one is easy level mm. and uh, another is a medium level mm -hmm. the first two coding questions uh, question uh, has the 35 marks and second coding question has 45 marks mm -hmm. and next uh, round is a group discussion round mm -hmm. uh, they give me about the topic like is work from home or work from office is better, better. Wha what do you feel mm -hmm. so what i think is that uh, i choose work from home is better in in situations like COVID and mm. pandemic. Mm. So I explained about it. Mm. And next one is the PR round. Mm. Uh, in that, uh, he asked me about uh, self-introduction. And mm. next thing, he asked some questions on Java, like OOPS concepts, uh, like abstraction, mm. encapsulation, mm. and polymorphism. Mm. And uh, he asked, uh, he asked me to execute the codes like method overriding, mm -hmm. method overloading, mm -hmm. and construction uh, creation of constructors. Okay. 
and next thing uh, some basic questions on java mm -hmm. and uh, a little questions on sql mm -hmm. and next uh, next round is a hr round hr round yeah in that uh, uh, she asked me about self introduction and project explanation okay. and challenges faced in a project mm -hmm. and one be behavioral question like mm -hmm. have you ever uh, did a mistake how did you rectify it mm -hmm. and and next uh, some of the basic questions like relocation mm -hmm. and what uh, technologies mm -hmm. you want to work upon and mm -hmm. why should we hire you and why epm only mm -hmm. yeah like this ended my hr round okay so uh, what was the duration of this uh, whole process uh, the G, uh, group discussion round is about uh, is nearly 30 minutes 30. and and pr round is nearly uh, 1 hour mm -hmm. and the hr round is nearly 30 minutes approximately 2 hours or so oh, yeah. uh, like that now um, i'm very curious to ask you another question uh, because uh, generally students uh, are tensed about going uh, through all these sessions what was your experience were you ner nervous there or how was that you felt i am comfortable in in the interview mm -hmm. i am very much confident about uh, about myself in mm -hmm. order to give my best in the mm -hmm. interview mm -hmm. okay. and also career development center also helped me a lot in mm -hmm. doing my in, in order to do my best in the interview okay that's really good uh, that uh, you have acknowledged it right now um, of all these rounds which round or which level of the process you felt was difficult uh, PR round is very difficult. The technical interview round mm -hmm. is very difficult. Mm -hmm. So he asked me to execute a course, mm -hmm. uh, like two or three courses mm -hmm. uh, in the in platforms, mm -hmm. and he gave he changed the code and asked me to explain about it. Mm -hmm. So and he asked me about the collections mm -hmm. framework mm -hmm. and which was very difficult topics and mm -hmm. data structures. Mm -hmm. So I felt uh, the technical interview round is a uh, mm -hmm. little bit hard. Mm -hmm. Did you implement the strategies or any learning concepts that you learned uh, at CDC? You you must be uh, you know you must be following all the those rules. Uh, any learning tips that you you've gained uh, from our CDC Career Development Center? Yes, ma'am. I have learned many things. Like they taught me about some of the hard skills, like coding, and also the soft skills, like communication skills and time management and decision making. Mm -hmm. So that I am very comfortable in the mm -hmm. interview process. Mm -hmm. So these help me a lot to crack an interview. Mm -hmm. So now uh, you are a successful person. Now you are on the way to your path, uh, like attaining your uh, future goals, futuristic goals, maybe higher than that. That's really uh, nice of you. Now, uh, could you talk about the preparation uh, that you had for this selection process? How was your preparation? What was your pro preparation like? So I planned for uh, nearly one month. Mm -hmm. So I use the websites like uh, uh, Geeks for Geeks, mm -hmm. Java T Point, mm -hmm. and uh, and W three Schools mm -hmm. for uh, for practicing coding. Mm -hmm. uh, I use the web uh, platforms like mm -hmm. Lead Code, Hacker Rank, and CodeChef. So mm -hmm. consistently, I I will do one question. Mm -hmm daily mm -hmm. uh, in any one of the platforms so this uh, might help me to crack an interview. Oh, you've mentioned or you uttered the word consistency. Mm -hmm. This is really a great uh, quality uh, of any successful uh, person for that matter. Right now, this uh, prompts me to uh, ask you another uh, interesting question that uh, like what were the resources you uh, could avail and what were the chief resources you uh, could use for your preparation? Uh, could be from our CDC, the resources they offer, and anything that you want to share. Yeah, uh, CDC training books are very helpful. And I also mentioned some of the websites like uh, Geeks for Geeks, mm -hmm. where we can practice the coding and mm -hmm. we can learn from it. As mm -hmm. I am from 
electronics and electronics and communication department mm. i i used to learn mm. from the internet only mm. so i think these websites are very helpful mm-hmm. mm. right so now uh, would you talk about your performance uh, like how would you rate uh, your performance at the uh, interview like the uh, recruitment process how was your performance how would you rate I will rate a eight out of ten since mm. I uh, since I I did my best. Mm. So I, and also I didn't uh, answer to some of the questions. I feel that I can do better mm-hmm. in the further interviews. Mm. So uh, certainly, e- even after uh, doing uh, very well in your interview, you would certainly feel some gap even after that. For any successful matter, uh, person uh, there is always a Uh, you know a gap that uh, he or she likes to improve or work on that what would you feel about your gap and uh, how did you think about it i am from uh, electronics and communication department so i thought that uh, we, i need to perfect in at least one of the programming language mm-hmm. so i worked on it mm-hmm. uh, i chose uh, i know c programming language mm-hmm. so i want to Uh, learn more about the java programming language since uh, epm more more concentrates on java mm-hmm. so i learned java in a month and some of the oops concepts so that i can perform better in an interview mm-hmm. so uh, hard work and consistency is very important in order to crack any interview um, again and again uh, vishnu uh, is uh, reiterating Actually, he's reiterating on the thought that consistency and hard work—they are very important, right? Now, uh, Vishnu, uh, do how do you uh, react uh, to challenges, especially when you prepare? Uh, there would be many challenges uh, you would have encountered or faced. So, what were the challenges, and how did you overcome uh, overcome those challenges in your preparation? Uh, generally. when a challenge is occur we need to plan and we need to analyze our strengths and weaknesses mm-hmm. by analyzing our strengths and weaknesses we can plan accordingly mm-hmm. uh, whenever we have time we can plan accordingly so mm-hmm. uh, we need to plan and prepare and then we need to practice and then we need to analyze as in self realization is the best realization mm-hmm. uh, so and then we need to execute in the interview so we can crack in interview mm-hmm. so um uh, how are you as a student even now you are a student so how are you as a student how is your uh, academic life and are you a serious person or uh, uh, a jovial like what, what what are you actually i am a very good in academics also uh, and my cgpa is 9.1 mm, great and and i enjoy learning the various courses in my electronics and communication engineering that's really good. apart uh, from this um, have you learned any other or have you gained any other certifications that helped you uh, mark the success what what's your response in the pandemic time i have did one course on udemy and on python programming so that i can gain some knowledge on python uh, and also did uh, NPTEL courses uh, like programming and data structuring algorithms using Python and database management system mm-hmm. uh, NPTEL courses. Uh, so I gained some knowledge from the NPTEL courses. These I did mm-hmm. instead of from my academics. Mm-hmm. What did you learn from CDC? Because um, you uh, attended uh, several classes, training sessions. Uh, uh, overall, like what did you learn, and uh, what would you say about? uh the career development center helps me a lot in improving my hard skills and especially a soft skills like uh, communication skills and time management and decision making so uh, it helped me a lot in cracking an interview mm-hmm. and uh we we need to we we know information in advance about the company so that we can prepare about the company uh, in advance and we can plan accordingly so it helped me a lot in cracking uh, the epm interview mm. 
would you recommend the uh, you know training or uh, you know sessions or cdc to your friends and uh, what what's your answer yeah it's definitely important to uh, choose a career development uh, training uh, because uh, we can't develop our uh, soft skills of our own so it important to develop our soft skills so it improved me a lot to uh, improve my career Hmm. So, uh, um, how what's uh, your uh, suggestion or suggestions uh, to all the people? Because uh, some students uh, maybe they failed in many attempts, uh, or recurrently they kept on doing attempting some things, but still kept on failing. Uh, they were not successful in their past uh, attempts. So, for such people, or what's your suggestion, or what are your words? we should never feel bad about the failure and we should learn from the failure fa- failure and we should never give up and we should never compare with others we should learn from the failures uh, this is a best thing we can learn from the failure if we fail we can uh, learn better and we can improve ourselves better so uh, did you refer to a, a books uh, in this process any websites the websites you've already mentioned so uh, some platforms uh, uh, any important crucial significant things that you would like to highlight on this occasion uh, practicing coding problems is very important in some of the platforms like uh, when you are in a base, beginner level we should practice problems on uh, hacker rank and when we move to a medium level and we we should practice problems on code chef and then we should move to a lead code platform so that we can improve better in coding problems and we can learn better hmm. now as a successful man uh, how is how is your feeling now when uh, do you want to achieve more what are some uh, and aspirations that you have for your future yeah i feel very proud for achieving for getting selected in epam so one of the best service based uh, multinational company and i want to learn more and explore new things in order to grow and evolve into a better version of myself mm-hmm. so i need to learn more and gain some experience and knowledge in the professional uh, uh, software development so i like to gain some experience in software development mm-hmm. now that's really a determined Uh, goal i would say and what is one important question that uh, you answered very confidently when they posted it any any question in your recruitment process yeah i am very much uh, perfect in uh, object oriented programming mm-hmm. uh, oops concepts so as i am very much uh, confident about the oops concept i answered very well in technical interview in your technical interview right so uh, possessing knowledge basic knowledge on this uh, foundational like basic concepts is very important that's what it mm-hmm. because many students uh, they are not very sure of uh, you know having or possessing good knowledge on basic so do you really feel that's very important to have basic knowledge or what is that you say yeah basic knowledge is very important since uh, the base will build our career and we can improve from it basics are very important in order to learn more and uh, achieve more hmm. so do you uh, find any place for this communication skills in your interview what would you say uh, our career development center only help me a lot in achieving uh, in developing my communication skills so it is comfortable in my interview in order to achieve like good so now finally i uh, what is that piece of advice or suggestions or what are your final words uh, to your juniors we should never compare with others and we should never give up uh, and next thing is that uh, we should learn from the failures we should never feel bad about failures we should try again and again until we get it So this is a piece of advice I give to juniors. Hi everyone, I am Kollur Vishnu from Sangareddy. I am doing my graduation in Ele- uh, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Dundigal Electronics and Communication Department. Uh, recently, I got selected for the EPM company, which is one of the best 
service based mnc company i am going to share my interview experience with you and uh, my preparation strategy for the campus placement sir first in order to achieve any company in order to get any company we need to plan prepare and practice and execute and we have to i i have planned a schedule in order to cover all important topics like sql oops data structures java python aptitude and english i took some help of the some of the websites like geeks for geeks java t point and w3 schools and some cdc training books i have practiced coding in some of the platform platforms like hacker rank code chef lead code etc and also prepared some of the questions on my projects that i have mentioned in my resume as epm concentrates more on problems problem solving ability and learning ability communication skills i did my best in my interview to get uh, selected the selection process for the inter- epm was the process includes uh, two written assessment group and one group discussion round and technical round and next one is a hr round in first written test it consists of uh, the sections like problem solving efficiency section that is aptitude analytical efficient proficiency and also aptitude uh, it includes uh, the in problem solving efficiency it includes uh, like uh, time speed distance and time and work and in analytical proficiency that like uh, the topics like bed, uh, blood relations and direction sensing etc and in an next section is uh, english proficiency where we uh, we are given the paragraph we need to answer from it and error correction etc and the next section is a uh, uh, computer fundamental it consists of mcqs on java c++ and some pseudo codes and one coding question which is a basic question easy level question we can uh, attend it and second one is second written test consists of mcqs on java oops concept we need to prepare more Uh, java programming language in order to uh, crack this written test and uh, section uh, second section consists of mcqs on sql and dbms and two coding questions and one is the easy level question another one is the medium level question uh, and next one is my group discussion round uh, there uh, there uh, the interviewer gave me a topic like the work is work from home or work from office is better what do you feel uh, being confident and expressing able to express our own views and our behavior is very important in group discussion round and next round is the technical round where my interview started with self introduction and some of the questions on oops like polymorphism encapsulation abstraction and some real life examples and the interviewer asked me to execute code in front of him like uh, some of the codes like method overriding method overloading and creation of constructors he also did some modifications uh, and exp- asked me to explain the code about it and some of the basic java questions like types of variables and why we should use a for loop do while loop and do while loops and and so difference between super and this and and difference between final finally and finalize etc mm. next round is the hr round the interview started with self introduction and project explanation and challenges faced in project and one behavioral question like why did you ever done any mistake how did you rectify it tell me about uh, your family and why epam why should we hire you are you interested in higher studies and some of the normal questions like relocation what technologies you want to work upon and um, etc uh, so at my advice to the gen- juniors is that uh, start your preparation from second year itself analyze your strengths and weaknesses and work accordingly and plan accordingly in order to become a better version of yourself and consistency hard work and planning plays important role in preparation 
try to be perfect in at least one programming language and practice more coding problems focus on your also focus on your soft skills like communication skills time management and decision making skills etc so finally the experience with cdc is very good the cdc helped me a lot to improve myself in developing my uh, soft skills and hard skills so it helped me to gain some knowledge on aptitude english coding which helped me a lot in order to crack an interview thank you vishnu kolari once again mm-hmm. we would congratulate you uh, on behalf of cdc and entire college we wish you a grand success in your future thank you thank you, thank you. like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates